So today, I was uh, at my university, Tufts University in Boston, and we were having a, a major international conference on Russia in the 21st century. And uh, the day started out pretty interestingly. Uh, we had a pan an uh, expert discussion on the state of the Russian media in which uh, Maxim uh, Trudolyubov, uh, Yevgenia Albats, the uh, Washington Post, uh, Moscow correspondent, and um, I'll just say somebody from RT, we're all having a very animated discussion. But I guess later in that day, um, it was during dinner that we heard that, uh, that Boris had been assassinated a few steps away from the Kremlin. And it, it, it really casts a pall over things. Um, I was there, there were a number of very prominent uh, Russian opposition journalists and figures there. Um, remember, Ilya Ponomaryov was there, um, a few folks from Novaya. Um, so, to, before the, uh, the evening's panel, Albats gave something of a very shocked eulogy for uh, Boris Nemtsov. And I guess what I want to say was that uh, Boris was, he wasn't my hero. I'm an American. Um, I didn't grow up, you know, seeing him as a politician in Russia. I wasn't really aware of the transition from the 90s into the 2000s and to Poison. But over the past two years, I've come to know quite a number of uh, prominent figures in Russian opposition in liberal circles. And after what happened with Buddies, it, it, it's, it's just a very scary place in the world for, for people who want to free Russia. And it, it, it's very hard to watch from over here. So I suppose what I want to say is that um, remember everybody's names. Uh, don't forget them. And always be watchful of what uh, what happens in the years and weeks and months to come. Let's see what